Hello Gophers and welcome back to our third tutorial on introduction to Go. In this tutorial, we'll be learning about how to set up your development environment. Before we move forward, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also do press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any notification. Topics that I'll be covering today in this video are what are go root and go path environment variable and what is the importance of go path environment variable before we move forward and understand what are go root and go path environment variable i will be assuming that you have already installed go on your local system if you have not done that till yet press the i icon on the top right corner of the video and there i have explained how to install go on your local machine Let's start by understanding two important environment variables in Go. The first one is Go root and second one is Go path. Go root is an environment variable that will contain the place where your Go is completely installed. This is not needed in case you have installed the Go in default path that is offered by the installer itself. But if you have installed in some custom path, then you should definitely go ahead and set this. To set environment variable Go root, we can go and open environment variable listing place there we can add a variable by name go root and its value to the place where your go is actually installed second thing that you need to verify or you need to configure is the path variable this path variable should contain the path of go the place where go is installed slash the bin folder now if i see this there is the path that is set is C go and bin. I have installed my go in C colon bin uh, go folder and then I have configured this to C colon go colon uh, sorry slash bin. If I open this folder C drive go and bin. Bin contains the exes that are needed by the go compiler or you can say this is actually the go compiler and this is a go formatting uh, exe that is given by go this go folder also has many things that you might be interested in there is a src folder which contains all the code that are there in go this these are the actual source codes if i see the fmt and if you go to print and if you open it in notepad or any editor of your choice it contains all the functions and their definitions so you can go ahead and read them anytime you want. Now let's also understand how we can set go path environment variables and what is the importance of go path environment variable. Go path environment variable is a place where you would like to create your workspace in your local system. So in go path, we normally set a play a folder path where I would like to create my workspace into. So in my case, I have created a folder by in my this GoLand directory and I have configured this as my workspace. But now many times you would argue that I would like to keep two different workspaces. One is for my actual official stuff and one is for my learning or my experimental sort of work. I don't want to mix them uh, both together. So you can also do that and uh, edit and add one more workspace path over here and that will be done but that comes with some complications and we need to understand those so we'll discuss those in later part of our video tutorials right now let's stick to one uh, workspace path once you have configured this go path environment variable restart your system and open the favorite br uh, favorite editor of your choice and uh, open the folder which you have configured as your workspace in Go. Now one important thing that you need to keep in mind while configuring your workspace is the workspace folder should contain three subfolders by name of bin, pkg and src. Now if you can see uh, I can show you the listing of my workspace. It has three folders by name of bin, pkg and src. The importance of these three folders is the bin folder will contain all the executable that you prepare using the go compiler. 
the pkg folder will contain all the intermediate code that is being prepared by the go compiler for the third party dependent library this is done so that if you compile uh, for the second time and you have not changed any of the third party dependent libraries go will not go ahead and compile those again rather it will pick those intermediate code from the pkg folder and attach it with the exe that it has been preparing for your final program so this is how go reduces the x the compilation time and gives an improvement on that part the src folder will contain all the source code that you write or any package that you create so this is a place where we will be creating a test.go file today and we'll be testing a simple small program that prints a small line to our console now if you see the test.go file should contain a package name every go program will always start with a main package and this main package should always have a main function in it. Now, if you see, I have an import statement over here, which imports an FMT package. This FMT package is an inbuilt package that is provided by Go. It contains all print and scan related functions. Here, I have imported only one package. If we need to import more than one package, we can include these imports in a parenthesis. For example, I have imported two packages over here. Now, Go is like our mothers. If you import some unused packages or any package that you have not used in course of your program, it will give you an error while compiling. So, be aware and do not import any packages that you are not using in your program. Now, over here, I'll be only using the FMT package. So let's go ahead and remove the parenthesis. And in the main program, I have just used a print ln function, which will only print a line which says hi from exception handler. Now let's go ahead and run this program and see how it behaves. Go run is a command that helps you run the current, uh, current Go program. So go run dot src slash test.go sorry test.go so it says high from exception handler now if you just saw when i wrote a wrong file name it gave me an error that the package test.got could not find a package by name in path that is c go and src so actually the go root environment variable helps go find where it needs to search for any sort of packages so go root slash src is the default path where go will first try and find the file and then it will try and start searching in all your go paths that you have configured and note all the go path slash the src folder it will be searching so it was not able to search in all those all the paths that are configured in go path and go root thank you for watching the video please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel also press the bell icon so that you don't miss on any new notifications. Also do comment us below on any feedbacks or any new tutorials that you want us to do.